Well, welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. Of course, we have been watching how the market's been reacting to the latest updates on the Omicron variant here, uh, hitting airlines once again, as well as uh, analyst predictions for where airline stocks could go, including updates from Raymond James, slightly cutting some of their forecasts here uh, and price targets for some of the leading major airlines there. As you see, kind of a tough day for all of those as travel once again enters the limelight here. And for more on that, I want to bring on Raymond James Managing Director Savanthi Scythe joins us now. Uh, and Savanthi, when you look at your price targets getting trimmed at some of these airlines, maybe not all that surprising given what we saw earlier in the pandemic every time a variant comes up. But talk to me about how, uh, how large these cuts are and how impactful it is given the fact that the holiday quarter is quite important for these airlines. Thanks, and you know, uh, uh, thanks for having me. And, and what I would say is, you know, a lot of our cuts really weren't about Omicron. It was really about the rising COVID cases here in the U.S. as well as in Europe. Um, and and really, from the U.S. perspective, like the biggest issue here is, you know, leisure demand is back, VFR demand is back. They get hit sometimes when COVID cases go really high. Um, but the bigger issue is the re return of business travel. And with, uh, you know, the COVID case is high, we think the return to office gets pushed back and then the return to business travel gets pushed back. So that's really what pushed uh, our uh, estimates lower. And we took our kind of target prices down by maybe around 5% as a result for, for losing another month or two of business travel in, in the year. So that's really what we're focused on here. Omicron, we're keeping an eye on it and we'll see how it progresses, but the, you know, we should know in a few weeks uh, exactly how that will play out. And you know, when you think about the travel restrictions that have been imposed since we first learned about, about this new variant, um, flights from Southern Africa, not a significant chunk if you think about American airlines um, and American carriers overall. The president was asked about this yesterday, saying, number one, with so many cases popping up over in Europe, for example, could additional restrictions be imposed? Um, what's the case you're operating under? What's the expectation there? Yeah, I mean, I think we have, a, you know, a testing requirement right now. I, I think that goes a long way to to helping things. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we don't see, you know, restrictions being implemented. But again, we're under the assumption that it seems that Omicron is more, uh, you know, transmissible, but maybe not as lethal. So as we get more information, I think um, there probably is unlikely to be restrictions, but that is definitely a risk. We're also getting the update. Uh, Reuters reporting that the Senate is inviting uh, the CEOs from seven of the top U.S. airlines here to testify, uh, more specifically to learn about how they use some of that emergency pandemic aid uh, and how it may not or maybe did help some of the labor uh, stresses that we saw as these airlines started to write back up and offer some of the routes that they may have uh, reeled back in in the pandemic. I mean, what do you make of that? And I guess uh, how much more might be needed there given some of these disruptions that could come? Uh, from this latest variant? I think it, it, it's a mixture of things really that's that's caused some of this. And, and some of it is, you know, the airlines, they did get, uh, you know, funding that covered about 70% of their payrolls, uh, 2019 payrolls. So they didn't furlough anybody, but they did offer voluntary leaves. And when you put somebody on leave, when you bring them back, there is a training period. I think airlines just didn't see how quickly things would come back. And so there was that training lag. There's also other things that have changed during the pandemic, which is, you know, they waived, uh, they had waivers for sick leave and there were a lot more, you know, absenteeism ha happening for various reasons. And so I, I think there are a lot of different reasons and I'm not sure that they fell short in, in taking that money and, and not keeping people on the payrolls. I, I, and I, I think they're, They'll have to explain that to, to Congress and, and show you know where the money has gone. As if they didn't have enough uh, things to worry about right now. Also <laughs> that potentially on their plate as well. Raymond James, Managing Director, Savanthi Scythe, appreciate you taking the time here uh, to chat with us today. Thanks again.